Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another edition uh, of Quick Hits. Um, twice a day we come at you with the latest boxing news just to keep you totally up to date on the world of boxing. Um, so if that's the kind of content you're looking for, you're looking to stay up to date on all the latest news of, in, in the world of boxing, please like and subscribe, share with a friend, and share this on all forms of social media. Um, I'm at 3D Boxing and 3D Boxing Blog on all forms. Um, today's episode is going to be dedicated to the return of Adrian Broner, but we are all overly familiar with Adrian Broner, so we are going to be talking about his opponent, Giovanni Santiago. Um, I'm sure most of y'all are not overly aware of him, um, if you've ever heard of him at all. There's not much on him on the internet. I, I went back, I scoured the internet looking for some Giovanni Santiago today. Um, I, I found some stuff. I found some stuff. So he's 14-0-1. He had a draw in his third professional fight. Um, his last fight was in December. Uh, he scored a, a first-round knockout over a then-unbeaten Juan Zaguerra, who's of Peru. Never heard of him either. Uh, it was a first-round knockout. Vicious body shot. Uh, so I'm just going to get into what I know about Javon Santiago. And then I'll kind of try to break down the fight. But it's going to be tough because Santiago has never, ever fought anyone near that level. Um, he's a pretty straight up-and-down guy. He stands... Pretty erect, pretty straight up. Um, he's got really good power. You can tell he's got snap in his punches. Um, he's well built. He's really well put together. Um, you know, he's probably I don't know five nine, but he's pretty stout. Um, he's got a good frame. Um, he's fundamentally sound. He looks, you know, like a more compact. I'm not comparing him to, to Trinidad, but he fights straight up like Trinidad does. Um, and then. You know, jab, right hand, left hook. He's pretty basic, but he's pretty fundamentally sound. Um, he's a really good body puncher. He goes down to the body really, really well. Um, that's how he got the knockout. He mixes it in. If you go back and you can find any of his footage, you'll see that he, he mixes in his body attack. A lot of times he'll leave with a body attack. He's a good body puncher. Um, outside of that, you know, he mixes head and body really well. Uh He's pretty slow. His, his, his hand speed is not really off the charts. It's definitely ball average. Um, Brona's is going to have a major advantage when it comes to hand speed. Um, I, we'll get to that. Again, he's basic. He's fundamentally sound. Good power. Up and down. Straight up and down. Um, keeps Usually fights out of a high guard and loves to go to the body. Um, he might have... And I want to get into what we can expect in the fight. Okay, he's never really beat anyone of note, so it's tough to compare anyone to uh, um, Adrian Broner because he's never fought anyone near a world class level. Um, but he's a pressure fighter. He likes to use his physical strength and come forward. Um, he kind of, you could say, he kind of fights into the hands of Broner, but he's got to let his hands go. You know, we always say if he can pressure Broner, if he can make Broner look bad, make Broner back up and get in his grill, make him uncomfortable, he can have success in spots. I don't expect him to win this fight. I'm not saying he's as good as Mauricio Laura, who we saw upset Josh Warrington last week. I don't think he's as good as I thought Laura was. I thought Laura, not that Laura was going to win. I said he was definitely going to lose, so I'm not taking credit for that. Um, but I thought Laura was, was an underrated opponent. I'm not saying Santiago is bad at all by any means. I just don't expect him to do super well in this fight. I think this is matched pretty well for Broner. Um, I think Santiago may have some success early. He may start to turn some heads, and then Broner will, uh, in the mid-rounds, take him apart. I think Broner may even stop him late. We'll see how tough he is. Uh, but he's too straightforward. He's too up and down. He's going to get hit a lot, and he's slow. He's going to get hit a lot. Um, but uh, he's got to break Broner down. He's got to force Broner to keep his hands in his pocket and keep him going backwards and, and break him down to the body. That's his path to victory. Can he do that over the 12 rounds? I mean, probably not. 
I mean, there's nothing on his resume to suggest that he can. Although he's not a bad fighter, you know, um, Broner's is going to be too quick for him. And I, I think in the mid rounds, Broner starts to land power shots, starts to unload on him. And then, you know, we get to 9 10, he beats him up. And I think eventually stops him. But although that's going to have more to do with how tough Santiago is. Um, but I do expect Broner to win. And, and after the first three or four rounds, I expect it to be pretty one sided. Um, I don't expect Santiago to be overly competitive because of the hand speed difference. Um, but he's got a chance. Like His chance is breaking him down to the body and imposing his physical strength on him. That's his path to victory. That's his game plan. Um, he's been busy. Um, I think Santiago turned pro in 2014, 2015. It's a little bit of experience. He's got 15 fights. He had a draw in his third fight. He's won a lot of, every fight since then, and most of them by knockout. Um, I don't think he's a terrible fighter. This is not a horrible matchmaking. This is a tune-up, and it is what it is, but it's a decent tune-up. Uh, I think Santiago will at least give him rounds and make it competitive in spots. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, let me know if you think of Santiago. If you can find anything else on him, there's a couple fights on YouTube. If you have any tape on him, please uh, feel free to share that. Um, Please like and subscribe. Share this on all forms of social media. Get quick hits. We'll be back later tonight with another episode. Not exactly sure what we're going to do it on, but we'll be back tonight with part with, with another part. Um, please share on all forms of social media. You can find me, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. It is February 17th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. We need to get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.